Praise God, hallelujah, hello, the beloved church family. My name is Joey Kerang, and I am recovered through the blood of my Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Sunday morning worship service. Oh, I'm so excited, amen. Rejoice! Hallelujah, God is on your side. He is head over heels in love with you, amen. Jesus Christ is Lord, hallelujah. Victory is ours in Jesus' name, amen. No matter what we're going through, no matter what this world looks like, hallelujah, victory is ours through the blood of God, amen? How do you receive the blood of God? It's only through one perfect man. His name is Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. And Lord Jesus Christ looks at the Father and says, mine, hallelujah, and the Father breathes his breath on you. And Holy Spirit, hallelujah, Holy Spirit moved on the inside, say it with me, I die, hallelujah, I die. And that's why you are born again in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, amen. Say his name, Holy Spirit, bless us, amen. Well, praise God, we have a lot to go through, hallelujah, and I just want to be obedient. Let's open up in prayer. Oh, I'm so excited, I pray you are too. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we love you with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Jesus Christ, you are Lord and Savior. You are the Messiah, the only Son of God. You came from heaven through a virgin birth, hallelujah. And you lived a perfect life on this earth. You taught us, Lord Jesus Christ, that the Father is in you. And you are in the Father. And you are the only one perfect. You are the only one worthy. And it's because of you, Lord Jesus Christ, that every soul that has received you, we died already. We are crucified in you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, that we died already in Lord Jesus Christ. And above all, we are sealed by you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, as we bless you, we thank you for Lord Jesus Christ. And Holy Spirit, you are the only teacher. Father, I thank you so much. I thank you so much that any mouthpiece that is standing here in your holy church, Open Arms Community Church, that your anointing that only comes through Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, you would put a guard across my mouth that you would rebuke my pride, Father God, that all I want to do is worship you, Lord Jesus Christ. Speak to us, Father. Speak to us. Hallelujah. By your word, Lord Jesus Christ, you are the word of God. And by the power of your word, through your resurrection, Holy Spirit, teach us. Change us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. And all God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Give your loved ones a high five. Amen. Give yourself a high five. Amen. Holy Spirit, thank you. Amen. Because when we do that, that's for Holy Spirit. And give the angels a high five. Hallelujah. All the angels of God fighting for us, protecting us. Hallelujah. I just, I just want to bless God, right? As many times as possible throughout the day. Through, it, 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 it. Come on, I know who I'm worshiping with. Amen. We are God's church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are God's church. Amen. And we just want to bless God. And, and I just, may I be so bold and crazy to say... I just want to bless God with laughter. I just want to be so thankful and goofy. Amen. And just, and, and just allow God to just bless us. Hallelujah. Praise God. For those of you who saw on Facebook, um, the graphic or on YouTube, we are going to be in our worship service, the Garden of Eden. Amen. Say it with me, the Garden of Eden. But if you notice, if you look closely at the graphic, the E is a number three. Amen. And there's a reason for that. Praise God. Because in our worship service this morning, we're going to be going through the three Garden of Eden. The three Garden of Eden. Agape! Amen! Agape! Who's Agape? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen? And of course, everything concludes, say this with me, for me. Hallelujah! For me. Hallelujah! Praise God! Hallelujah! Jesus Christ is Lord! Amen! Are you all ready? Praise God, we got a lot to go through. Let's get through this. I pray that you're having just an amazing, amazing day. Amen. And just know this, God is head over heels in love with you. Say it with me, God is on my side. Hallelujah. Say it again, God is on my side. Is Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior? There it is. Amen. God is on your side. Because he lives in you and through you. Amen. We don't want to jump ahead. Praise God. Let's get into the scriptures that we're going to be getting into. Hallelujah. We're going to be in Ezekiel, in the book of Ezekiel, the prophet Ezekiel. Amen. 
And the reason why we start there, Holy Spirit says he wants to give us a snapshot of the Garden of Eden before the beginning of this world, before the beginning. And hallelujah, listen, Holy Spirit is the teacher. Praise God. Let's just trust Lord Jesus Christ and the Spirit of God. Holy Spirit will bless us with his presence overflowing. Amen. Do it with me. Get out of this. Amen. Get out of this. Praise God. Hallelujah. God cannot be contained here. Amen. This is the Holy of Holies. This is where God is contained. Praise God. And let's trust in God. Amen. Then we're going to go into the beginning. Hallelujah. The Holy Bible. Right? Can't, get any, can't, get, can't, can't go before Genesis unless you're talking about the prophets and what they spoke before. Right? And like, for example, in Ezekiel. But we're going to be in Genesis chapter 2. And then we're going to go into the Gospels. Gospels in the New Testament. Say that with me. The New Testament. A New Testament is... Hallelujah, there's a new story, right? Praise God. There's a new testimony, amen? There's a new, say it with me, account. Hallelujah, there's a new witness. Can I get a witness? Hallelujah, I love saying it. Can I get a witness, right? Can I get a witness, right? Praise God. And in this new testimony, in this new witness, we're going to hear from the mouth of our agape, our Lord, our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, in the book of Mark, chapter 1, and in the book of John, chapter 14, and then, hallelujah, Holy Spirit wants to summarize everything, tie everything in together in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 16. Praise God. Are you all excited? Hallelujah. I am. Hallelujah. I am excited. Praise God. Uh, if you're wondering as far as why the camera position is different, hallelujah, pray for me uh, and pray for all of us. Amen. Pastor John, Pastor Mary, all of our elders, hallelujah, your leadership, praise God. And in, in, in this situation... I had to move the camera, praise God, so that I could see better, see gooder, amen? So praise God, I know it doesn't matter where the camera is, and praise God, thank God for Dustin, Brother Dustin, T uh, Brother PJ, and Brother Ryan on the tech team, hallelujah, uh, once we get started back up. I'm so excited we're going to be back together, hallelujah, physically back together in worship. Oh my goodness, I pray in this past season that you just got intimate with God, Amen. Listen, I know we're all going through different seasons, hallelujah, but it's just awesome to know that the Father loves you, amen? And without further ado, let's get started. Praise God. In Ezekiel 28, verses 13 through 18. Are you all ready? Say amen, and that's to the Lord, hallelujah. Father, we say amen because Holy Spirit changes, teach us, expose the enemy, extinguish the fiery darts. Lord Jesus Christ, you are our shield. And Father, as we speak the blessing, your sword is released into the atmosphere. The Holy Spirit, that your light will shine through the darkest of darkness in Jesus' name. Amen. The Garden of Eden. You were in Eden, the Garden of God. Now quickly, we're going to pause because I know, you're, I know you're like, man, Brother Joe, we just got into this. But we have to understand what the prophet Ezekiel is speaking. Not only is he prophesying, but he's also, he's also through the anointing of Holy Spirit, God himself is revealing to him what happened to Lucifer, but he's also speaking to the king of Tyre. Now remember, when, when, when Holy Spirit is living abundantly through you, God himself, say it with me, Father God, agape, will expose to you through discernment. Can I get an amen? All of us have the gift of discernment. All of us have the gift of prophecy, of healing. Amen? All of us do. You know why? Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Isn't that beautiful of our God? Amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. When you receive Lord Jesus, it's his gifts. It's his anointing, right? That will flow through you. All God is asking, are you willing? Amen. And I love this about a, a willing, obedient, beloved son of God. Brother Ezekiel here, right? Check out what this prophet has to say. He's talking about Lucifer now, and this is what he has to say. Every precious stone adorned you. Now imagine Lucifer being created in the Garden of Eden in heaven. Say that with me, in heaven. So in the Garden of Eden in heaven, here Father is creating Lucifer. And this is what, this is what the prophet Ezekiel has to say. Every precious stone adorn you, carnal. Now there's going to be jewels here I've never seen. I don't even know how to pronounce. Amen. English is hard, so I'm just going to go over it. Chrysolite, emerald, topaz, onyx, and jasper. So far, so good. 
Lapis, lazuli, turquoise, and beryl. Uh, anyway, your setting and mountings were made <laughs> of gold. Whew, hallelujah. On the day you were created, they were prepared. Right? So God created Lucifer, and he adorned him with all of these jewels. With, with, you know, just, just, you can just imagine. We, we discussed this. It's probably been a year now. It's been some time ago, but we discussed as far as how the glory of God, that when it hit Lucifer, that it would just shine all throughout heaven. Can you imagine? Just, just like rainbows, right? Just, just, just the glory of God. And there was no question, hallelujah, there was no question as far as where Lucifer was in heaven. Amen. We're just, we're just right now in the first scripture, beloved, and we got a lot to go through, but I need you to really grasp that. Amen. Just say, Holy Spirit, give that to me. Amen. Because you got to imagine out of all of heaven, hallelujah, out of all of eternity, here's Lucifer. And there was no question where he was because look at how God has created, hallelujah, Lucifer. You were anointed as a guardian cherub. That word guardian is highlighted because guardian, if you think about guardianship, it's like a helper, amen? Like an overseer. I got guardian over that person, right? I got guardianship over that person. It's a helper, right? You were anointed as guardian cherub, so I ordained you. You were on the holy mount of God. You were walking among the fiery stones. You were blameless. Say that with me, blameless. Say it gooder and gooder. I am blameless, Amen. You were blameless in all your ways from the day you were created until wickedness was found in you. Through your widespread trade, you were filled with violence and you sinned. Your heart became proud on account of your beauty and you corrupted your wisdom because of your splendor. So I threw you to the earth. I made a spectacle of you before the king. Now notice immediately all that highlighted in red is just to really emphasize that rather than having the heart for God, can I get an amen? Rather than having the heart for agape, for Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, rather than having a heart for Lord Jesus Christ, you say you have a heart for Lord Jesus Christ, then your heart is filled with Holy Spirit. And in, in the anointing and the presence of God Almighty in this heart, you have a heart for God, which means that your purpose as a chosen temple, as a chosen beloved child of God, right? Remember, Lord Jesus Christ died for the entire world. Can I get an amen? Lord Jesus Christ, God died, God saved the entire world. All through one perfect sacrifice. One perfect man, hallelujah, his name is Lord Jesus Christ. It's already done did, amen? And the question is, is, do we want him and do we want to have a heart for God, amen? Or do we want to have a heart for ourselves? Now the heart for ourselves is what verse 17 in Ezekiel 28 is, is identifying. Your heart became proud on account of your beauty, your wisdom, your splendor. It was all about me, 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 me. And what happens when it's me, 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 me? You actually become a God and you actually put yourself on a pedestal. Now I know, praise God, I'm talking to a lot of you. A lot of you are like, ah, I rebuke that. I'll never do that in Jesus' name. Now, however, as we, as we worship Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit is also moving in our hearts. Do we put anything on a pedestal above God? See, beloved church family, just, 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 just dig deep in worship right now. Because Holy Spirit will, 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 will show you where we are hurting Him. And the glory of God Almighty is that He gives us the power only through Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Only through the perfect one. Only through His blood to overcome that. Amen? Say with me, I am overcome. Hallelujah. And so there's a promise that follows this when we make it all about ourselves. So I threw you to the earth. This is how Lucifer was outcasted. I made a spectacle of you before kings. By your many sins and dishonest trade, you have desecrated your sanctuaries. So I made a fire come out from you, and it consumed you. And I reduced you to ashes on the ground in the sight of all 
who were watching. All the nations who knew you are appalled at you. You have come to a horrible end and will be no more. And here in Ezekiel, as you can see, the Garden of Eden was in heaven, right? He made Lucifer to have a relationship, right? Just to be in the Father's love. Just to be in the Father's presence. And unfortunately, what took place is he made it about himself, amen, and he was outcasted from that garden, right? And this is number one as far as the Father's love, right? See, you see the Father's love as he created Lucifer, right? You, you could just see the Father's love. And you could see the Father's expectations and, and just, just the overflowing of the anointing. Remember, he was a guardian cherub, right? A helper. Can you say that with me? A helper. He was ordained, anointed, right? He was set aside, glory to God, chosen. But Lucifer put it on himself. And here in number one, we just wanted to expose the Father's love. Can you say with me? The Father's love. Praise God. Now we're going to move into Genesis chapter 2, verses 7 through 9 in the Garden of Eden. Praise God. We're going to get into this. Then the Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils. Say that with me. Breathe. <sighs> Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Praise God. You don't breathe. Hallelujah, you don't breathe like everybody else. Your breath is eternal in Jesus' name, amen? From the dust of the ground and breathe into his nostrils and breathe of life, and the man became a living being. Now the Lord God had planted a garden in the east of Eden. And there he put the man he had formed. The Lord God made all kinds of trees grow out of the ground, good for food, in the middle of the garden, where the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. A river watering the garden flowed from Eden. From there it was separated into four headwaters. The name of the first is Pishon. Its winds through the entire land of Hivala, where there is gold. The gold of that land is good. Aromatic resin and onyx are also there. The name of the second river is Gihon. Its winds through the entire land of Cush. The name of the third river is the Tigris. It runs along the east side of Asher. And the fourth river is the Euphrates. The Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. And the Lord God commanded the man, you are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat from it, you will certainly die. The Lord God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Say that word with me, beloved church family, helper. Amen. And of course, we can keep going on and on, but Holy Spirit just wanted to touch on those scriptures right there. We went a little bit further than, you know, just from 7 to 9, as far as just talking about the Garden of Eden. We went more in depth, amen? And the reason why is because Holy Spirit wanted to really drive this home. That here everything was perfect in the Garden of Eden, amen? That here Adam was and everything, everything was in God's perfect order. But still, God said, it's not good for you to be alone. I want to make you a helper. And the glory of God is, as you know how the story goes on, amen, God made a helper for Adam. And he put him in a deep sleep, right, and he took a rib. And glory to God, here is the woman. Amen? The woman. Helper. Can you say it with me? Helper. And glory to God, this is how God ordained, ordained, and blessed him, man and wife. Amen? And we know what took place as far as, as the story continues in the Garden of Eden. Unfortunately, in this Garden of Eden, it wasn't enough just having Holy Spirit's presence 24-7.
It wasn't enough having Holy Spirit's presence 24-7. Right? Disobedience took place. What happened? The thought came and a conversation took place with the evil one, Satan. Disobedience manifested, right? And sin entered. So rather now than blessing Holy Spirit's presence, as Adam and Eve would do, now, as you see in this picture that comes up on your screen, they hide from the presence of God. And this is the second Garden of Eden. And this is the famous Garden of Eden whenever the Garden of Eden, Eden is discussed or in worship service or a topic. Now remember, Holy Spirit taught us already through this worship service that the Garden of Eden is heaven, is His light, amen, is His presence. It's the Father's love, amen. Hallelujah. Remember, agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And in the Garden of Eden, Lucifer, Lucifer was made to be a guardian, to be a helper. Right? But unfortunately, unfortunately, the helper, rather than helping, right? Rather than worshiping, can you say it with me? Worship, he took it on himself. And here in the Garden of Eden, on this earth, the same thing takes place. That here is Eve made to be a helper. Right? Eve made to be a helper. Now many of you know, if you've been, here for, if you've been rooted here at Open Arms Community Church, Pastor, myself, we say this all the time. Right? You see, Adam is the one that sinned. But notice what, how the enemy, once again, through his distractions, through his deception through his lies and manipulation, right? Through doubt, worry, fear, anxiety, right? Wanting to spark this conversation. The helper, rather than Adam and Eve, blessing God, remember having a heart for God. Can you get an amen? Rather than them just showing God in a relationship between husband and wife, keeping God first, amen? Adam got busy, right? Rather than being the encouragement, hallelujah, rather than being Christ-like, how Lord Jesus Christ died for the church and gave himself up for the church, that's how we men of God, amen, should be for our beloved wives, God's daughters, amen? Rather than doing that, he got busy, right? Got distracted. And what happened to God's beloved daughter, Eve? She started listening to other things and believing it. And this was the Garden of Eden and what took place was absolutely horrible. You know, we've gone through it these pa this past month, it seems like, as far as what happened in that Garden of Eve. And Holy Spirit right now said, move on, and we're going to be obedient. Say with me, be obedient. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name. Now we're going to get into the Garden of Eden in, Mar in, the, in the book of Mark, in chapter 1, verse 15. Hallelujah. Say with me, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And this is all Lord Jesus Christ had to say in verse 15. And it's going to echo all throughout eternity. Mark chapter 1 verse 15. Lord Jesus Christ said, the time has come. When God said the time has come, what does that mean? Now. Say that with me, now. Hallelujah. See, there's many of you right now that's believing God for something and in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, Father God just wants to hear from the Holy of Holies inside of you. Whether you say it with me, whether you're crying right now, I do not know. Whether you're rejoicing and saying, hallelujah, the time is now. But say this with me, beloved child of God, now. Hmm. Hallelujah, Father. Thank you. Lord Jesus Christ said, the time has come. Now, this is what he says. The kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe the good news. Repent. And remember, Lord Jesus Christ started preaching this. If you go back to Matthew 4, he started preaching this after the wilderness, after the tempter tried. Three times, tried. And Lord Jesus Christ layeth the smacketh down on, right? 
God put him in his place, right? See, he was already defeated back then. It was done. However, after Lord Jesus Christ come out, being ministered from the angels, right? Being ministered from the angels after his 40 days and 40 nights of fasting, of worship, of intimacy with the Father. One-on-one -on -one relationship, amen? 831, I pray, that you, I pray the Holy Spirit bless you with that message. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to Wednesday night's worship service, amen? We're running out of time. I, I got so much to tell you. And it's all Holy Spirit just overflowing. Let's just worship. Amen. But I love you. And this is what Lord Jesus Christ's message is. This is the good news. Hallelujah. That he's saying, listen, you guys are, 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 are trying to figure out the kingdom. You guys want the kingdom of heaven. You guys are doing all these things. But the, the time is now. Hallelujah. The time is now the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of God is at hand. And their Lord Jesus Christ is speaking to him, going, look at me. Can I get a hallelujah? Lord Jesus Christ, the perfect one. Amen. God's only son is saying, look at me, I'm right here. Right? Eden, the garden of Eden is right here, I'm right here. So all I need you to do right now is just believe and trust in me. And glory to God, I'm surrounded by brothers and sisters, amen? All around the world, that that's all we have. Like the, like the woman with the issue of blood. We got nothing else, Lord. I can't go anywhere. I can't do anything. You're all I have, Lord Jesus Christ, amen? And we have to get to this point with God, amen? Then, Lord, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I, I, I got nothing. I only got you, and that's all I want, Amen? And glory to God, Lord Jesus Christ is preaching this beloved church family and telling everybody who has ears to hear, amen, repent. We don't say this religiously here at Open Arms Community Church. I am recovered through the blood, amen. That this repentance is, I completely eliminate all my thoughts and I trust you, Father God, that you love me. Me. Say that with me. Me. Say your name. Joey Craig. Say your name. Joey Craig. That you love me, Father God, that you would give me, Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus Christ, you brought the kingdom of heaven down. Where it wasn't hidden behind a veil, you gave heaven to me. And I died in your ground. Hallelujah. I died. I died in you. And Holy Spirit, you live in me for all of eternity. Amen? Amen. Let's just give God praise. Hallelujah. And this is the good news. Amen? Good news. Praise God. Now, beloved church family, how do we look when we have good news? <laughs> Amen? Praise God. When you get good news, you go like this. I pray not. That ain't good news if you go, Right? Praise God. Good news. Hallelujah. And this is the Garden of Eden that was manifested here on earth in bodily form. Agape. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Say it with me. Number three is the body of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And you saw what we did to this garden, this perfect garden of God that came through a virgin birth. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. You saw what we did to this perfect seed of God, right? We, you saw what we did. He left heaven to come here, right? And in this graphic that you see, you saw what we did to that perfect body, that perfect man, our Savior, Lord Jesus. I did that. I did that to him. And now we go into, to summarize everything, the Garden of Eden. John 14, verses 15 through 17. This is what John 14 says. And Lord Jesus Christ is speaking of our commandments as a new covenant church. You belong to Lord Jesus Christ. He speaks of his commandments because he, he fulfilled his father's commandments, our father. It's only through Lord Jesus Christ, amen, that his father becomes your father. Can I get an amen? Pastor Joey explained, it's only through Lord Jesus Christ. When you receive Lord Jesus Christ, 
Lord Jesus Christ, you have received me, so I will tell the Father that you are mine. So now he is your Father, and the Father will breathe through you as his beloved child. Amen. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. And this is what Lord Jesus Christ commanded us. If you love me, keep my commandments. What are those commandments? Love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Amen. How do you do that? Through Holy Spirit. Glory to God through Holy Spirit. Amen. Isn't it beautiful? Holy Spirit preached that message through Pastor John just a couple Sundays ago, right? And how do you keep it? Right? How do you keep it? Right? How do you live a life with restraint? How do you live a life with not, not reverence where when somebody's around, you act holy. Rebuke that, right? Rebuke that, that's religion. I'm talking about reverence and respect for the Lord that you're the one behind closed doors and you act the same way that you do when you're out in public, amen? That is not a front where you're trying to act like a certain, because God knows everything, can I get an amen? And that's why this world doesn't want anything to do with Holy Spirit. Because when Holy Spirit, hallelujah, seals a beloved child of God, the fruits you will see. It's God's fruit. Amen? Remember bear fruit, right? Remember bear fruit? Beloved, encouraging, agape, repentance. Amen? That is bear fruit. And Holy Spirit, you could tell. Amen? A beloved child of God. I know who I'm speaking with and worshiping with. Come on, Open Arms Community Church. Amen? It's all blessing Lord Jesus Christ. Worship. And allowing God, hallelujah, to renew our thoughts so that Holy Spirit is blessed in His presence, in His life, in His salvation. And that renews and refreshes, hallelujah, the body of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? And this is what Lord Jesus says in verse 16. And I will pray the Father, and He will, say with me, God will. God will give you another helper. There's that word again. Say that word with me. Helper. Another helper. That he may abide with you forever. The spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. Because it neither sees him nor knows him. This world, it's impossible for this world. If you want nothing to do with Lord Jesus Christ. If you don't want to receive Lord Jesus Christ. And have a relationship. Beloved church, please help me. Say that word with me. Relationship with the Father. Amen. This is what we call worship. Amen. This is who Holy Spirit is. If you don't want that, God says it's impossible for this world to receive. And why is it? The world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him for he dwells with you and will be in you. Amen. And this is the Garden of Eden. Praise God. Now, I'm going to put up this picture here that you will see on your screen. Hallelujah. And it shows the Garden of Eden. And it shows the resurrection power of Holy Spirit. And it shows the glorified body, the glorified picture of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, honestly, it would be great just to put this up there. And hallelujah, praise God. This is who our God is. This is who Father, Son, Holy Spirit is. Amen. Agape. Praise God. We know this to be true. This is the good news. Amen. However, Holy Spirit, remember, is teaching us the three garden of Eden for me. Amen. And this is what we have to go through. Amen. 1 Corinthians 3, 16 says this. Do you not know that you are, say with me, I am. Do you not know that you are, say with me, I am. Hallelujah, beloved church family. Rejoice, amen. Say it one more time. Do you not know that you are, say it with me, I am the temple of God. And the spirit of God dwells in you. Hallelujah. And, and, and we got to just be thankful right now. Father, thank you. Thank you, Father God. That we are not worthy, but Lord Jesus Christ is worthy. And you gave us a Savior. The King of kings, the Lord of lords, hallelujah, Alpha and Omega. The Holy One, the Worthy One, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that it's in your perfection that we are one in you. And thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are the seal of salvation through Christ our Lord that comes from our Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, amen. 
You see, when we know this one of the Father's love, amen, we know this two of Holy Spirit presence, amen, and we know this number three, that we are the body of Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. You look at all these things, one, two, and three. Number four, you see the picture that was up earlier on your screen as far as the resurrection power of Holy Spirit and the glorified body of Lord Jesus Christ. And in religion, in whatever denomination, none of that matters. That's all great and that's all fine because that is the good news, the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ. Because God is alive, amen? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. But the message that Holy Spirit has for us about the three garden of Eden is simply this. That it doesn't stop right there and on your screen that you see right there. That is not only about what took place, hallelujah, over 2,000 years ago. As far as the resurrection of Lord Jesus Christ on that glorious third day, and our glorified Lord Jesus Christ who is seated at the throne of God with all authority, all power, and all might for all of eternity. Remember, remember, all of heaven right now saying, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. Hallelujah. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Amen. He is holy. He is the righteous one. He is the holy one. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. What Holy Spirit wants for us to have life-changing revelation as we worship Lord Jesus Christ being thankful, beloved church family, is this. That, that number four in me is what you see on that screen. Amen. The Garden of Eden is no longer is no longer unobtainable through Lord Jesus Christ and the power of Holy Spirit the garden of Eden is say it with me in me hallelujah and this is the beauty of the difference of the pictures that you see up on your screen is that we can have head knowledge head knowledge Right? We could try to understand and figure out God and know, yes, Lord Jesus Christ is alive. Or, you could worship God Almighty and have this relationship, right? Just like back when Adam and Eve used to fellowship with Holy Spirit, agape, Lord Jesus Christ the Father, hallelujah, in perfection. And the glory of God Almighty is, because perfection came to this world, this fallen world, and because perfection bled on that cross for you and me, because perfection chose to die, because perfection chose to be sin, He gave us, Lord Jesus Christ gave us His identity in exchange for us receiving Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Do you receive that today? Praise God. I pray in Jesus' name that you would bless the Garden of Eden that is eternally in you right now. Say it again with me, for me. That the Garden of Eden is no longer about the story that we talk about in Genesis, which is true, for that is the Holy Word of God. But the Garden of Eden now is in you and in me as a beloved child of God. And you recall that from the beginning, number one, in the Father's love, right? That the Father would create Lucifer as a guardian, as a helper, right? A worshiper. And you saw what took place. And number two, in Holy Spirit's presence, you see what Father God did just to bless Adam, a helper, right? To help so that they can bless one another and, and show agape overflowing in their marriage. Because remember, marriage, hallelujah, Father, Spirit, and Son. Amen? And you talk about that, and then you saw what took place as far as in how Lucifer, right, fell from heaven. How Satan distracted, right, Eve. And then you saw what God said. God said, son, it's time. And here comes perfection. Once again, Eden, hallelujah, the garden of Eden came. In the form of this one perfect man. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. And you saw what we did. You saw what we did to Agape. We put him on that cross. I did that. But the glory of God doesn't stop there. 
Because the resurrection power of Christ, hallelujah, is not only in Christ and it stays in Christ and it's just far away. Lord Jesus Christ says, greater things you will do because now you are in me. I am in the Father. Your Father, Holy Spirit, me is one in you. And this is why we say agape, hallelujah, in Jesus' name, amen. I pray that this message blessed you beyond comprehension. Will we choose to worship God Almighty in, 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 in just a new way today? And just being, just being completely thankful for what Lord Jesus Christ has done so that the Garden of Eden is no longer something that we're trying to chase, that we're living heaven right now, that eternity, beloved church family, begins right now. Amen. That right now, on the count of three, on the count of three, take a breath with me. Amen. One, two, three. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, as, as we just thank you, Father, we are beyond words. Father, we thank you for your eternal presence that is in us, Father. We thank you, Father God, that your garden is in every beloved child of God through Christ our Lord. And the Holy Spirit, that seed of Lord Jesus Christ, is producing in that garden, the Garden of Eden, within every one of us, as your beloved children, your fruit, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, your fruit of love, agape overflowing, joy. Hallelujah, peace, kindness, patience. Hallelujah, Father God, victory is ours through Christ our Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that your presence, your light in us is for all of eternity. And Father, I pray, I pray, Father God, that every soul right now, that Father, that you would bless and anoint them with life-changing revelation, that this abundant life, this eternal life starts now. And we thank you so much, Father, that you are for us and that you love us. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise, Father. We thank you. And Father, bless all the seeds that your beloved children are sowing financially in all of your churches around the world, Father. But Father, we can speak right here for where you have us planted and rooted at Open Arms Community Church, Father. Bless their seeds that they sow, Father. Bless them a hundredfold. We thank you, Father God, that Jesus Christ is Lord and that Holy Spirit, you have sealed us for all of eternity. And it's in Jesus' name and all God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. Praise God. God is good. Hallelujah. All the time. Praise God. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. Love you so, so very much, beloved church family. Praise God. I pray, I pray in Jesus' name that we get back here real soon. Amen. Listen, we're going to be submissive to God. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit will say his name. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit will guide all our elders. Praise God. It's not our wisdom. It's his wisdom. Amen. And praise God. We're just going to be obedient. Amen. Submissive, obedient. And praise God. Let's just be happy. Amen. I choose to rejoice. Amen. Because Jesus Christ is Lord. God is on my side. And Holy Spirit has sealed us for all of eternity. Amen. Love you guys so, so very much. Praise God. Remember, go to oacchurch.com. We never want to rob worship from God. Come on now. We don't want to touch that. Amen. We want to give all the worship to Lord Jesus Christ. And for those of you, amen, who are obedient in, in your faithfulness and giving, thank you. Praise God. Thank you. We need your help. And praise God. He is our provider. And I thank God for your seeds that you sow. Go to oacchurch.com, oacchurch.com. Love you so much, beloved church family. Praise God. Stay warm. Hallelujah. Have a happy, happy Sunday. Hallelujah. And praise God. If we're not raptured out in the next half an hour, I'll see, you, I'll see you for Tuesday evening worship service. I am recovered. We're in our final lesson, lesson 31. And lesson 31 is Father. Hallelujah. Love you so much, beloved church family. God bless you, God. Mwah!